Welcome back once again, everybody. Back on the Westbound Delivery Train Sim Worlds 2. Cumberland West Yard. The last two times we try to do this, we got glitched out. So let's see if we get it done. New here, welcome to the channel. Let's get going. All right, rainy night. My partner for tonight. We got to pick up 11. 464 yards. Now, if you're new to this game, I'll just go by how I do it. I mean, you have your own little routines. First, I turn that cabin light on. I don't need the gauge lights on. Hit that on. Uh, we're also going to turn. Not the gauge lights, we'll just turn ditch lights on. Cutoff valve is correct. Lead. Uh, put this in forward. I think we can get going. Let's see here. Anything else am I forgetting? Right on, we're moving. And as we're moving, I gotta change one of these real quick. All right, so we're on track. Got a nice baby blue. Now we don't need to go so fast. So we can cruise in there at a good 14 miles an hour. And I discovered this too, not too long ago, if it'll help you guys. only a temporary uh, temporary thing there uh, let's slow the sucker down I say let's slow this sucker down why is this sucker not slowing down all right we crashed into it so what I would start again, but hey. Uh, into reverse now. We gotta take these 11 and swing them back over here. Is that correct? Alright, correct. The switches, I would say, is one of the most important parts of the game. Big headache if you mess that up. Alright, let's go. Hit this. I know we're coming through. Could even hit it with four. Turn that off. Why are we not moving? We're having some difficulties with this sucker. Why is it not moving? Is it redlining like that? Uh, not sure, people. Cutoff valve correct. Everything correct. You know what? Might have to turn this sucker off and turn it back on. It's uh, a little bit of pain in the ass here. Alright, here we go. Oh, I I realized what I did. It's my fault, people. I should have had this in freight. I don't know why I didn't have it in freight. Okay, yeah, hold on. Let's shut everything down. 
That was my fault. This should be in freight. It should be okay now. Hopefully. Alright. There we go. I've made that mistake before. I apologize. But if I make it, at least you know don't make it. So now you know. Make sure that's always on freight. I don't know why I didn't have it on freight. Let's make sure we head it back to the right spot we are. Alright. See? It can get tricky sometimes. So 600 yards back. And you, you don't help, bro. I mean, you've been here longer than me. You're just sitting there letting me struggle. Very nice. Very nice. I will remind the boss not to have you on my shift anymore. Alright, heading in 17 miles an hour. Flying with these 11. Beautiful scene of the train. They could do a little bit of the better job on the scenery, but hey. Get what we get. Alright, about 400 yards away. Now it'll slow down easier because I have it on free. I was wondering why I'm there struggling. Slow to about 10. Now we'll let it cruise in. And we're on a slope, so it's going to go slow real quick. Matter of fact, we could actually... Well, we don't have to speed it up for right now. Is that good? Oh, we might have to cruise. Well, we'll just take it easy. And you, open this window, because it's hot. It was raining, bro. Don't look at me like that. We got work to do, and you're just taking it easy. Open my windows as well. So it's not so stuffy in here. Got another train going over there. Alright, let's hurry this up. So we are not here all day. Last 100 yards, then we're going to have to move this sucker and see where we go from there. We're cruising in at about 5 miles an hour. Yeah, we're there already. Another train on this side, as you can see. Nice blue train. That dark CSX. Good job working for CSX. Now, usually when I come in, I like to do it at least 20 yards. More. Right, now we could hit the brake here and we're good. Like I said, about 20 yards is good enough. They accept that. Seven yards. Now we gotta take this big old sucker, make sure this is yeah. Alright. I will say train sims too, worth the money. If you are considered buying it. Once you figure out the quick switches, it is a fun game. It is also a very long game. When they simu say simulation, they're not playing. Sometimes some of these go for an hour, an hour and a half. So be prepared to be locked in if you really want to play. A lot of switches we had to switch here. Look at this. All right, I think it's all smooth sailing after that. Let's do it. Forward gas, take the brake off, let them know we're coming. Now we're going a little far, so let that sucker rip. That bell off. I must say, it's a nice view, look at that. Woo. Rocking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cars. Damn, boy. Yeah, we are moving this sucker. All right. 17 miles an hour. We just start slowing it down a little bit. We don't want to go too fast in there. We're already doing about 20. Just 
keep it on one just to ease it in. We're actually going down a hill, so we could actually that sucker. Now we're going a little fast, so we want to slow down a little bit, a little bit, not too much. Get a little bit on the since we're going down a hill. Not too much, not too much. That's good. Almost at the target. Now they say I'm over the speed limit, so we'll reduce it a little more. But like I said, this does stop on a dime much easier than uh, most of the other trains. Uh, seven miles an hour, 400 yards away. Still on first, still on, uh, especially on idle. All right, so we're good for right now. Pull right in, and I think we cut, we cut the whole ten. That might be it. All right. A couple CSX cars that they left there parked as well. Again, work done out here. Nah, we're not going to do the blinds. Also, they got this switch if you want it for the gauges. I don't really use it. It's too bright for me. I'd rather just keep the cabin light on. Alright, we're heading close. We're close. So we'll put it down a little bit. a little bit, not much. Then we have another car parked here too. Alright, we almost got all 10 cars pulled into the right spot. Like I said, more or less, I like to cut them about 20 yards or less. Anything above that, I feel they don't really accept it if you try to drop the car off at a like 30 yards, 32, they'll tell you no. So it's just a little tip. Alright, we're getting close. Slow down a little bit. Not much, just a little. Alright, moving in about 4 miles an hour. That's perfect. Perfect. Can't really tell what's going on up here. About 35, we can start hitting this soon. Now they'll accept it about 20 now. So yeah, we can just start breaking this and we're done. Drop the sucker off. Oh, might make it right on a dime. Oh, with one yard, that was my best. Not bad. That was damn near perfect. Can't get any perfect better than one yard. Look at that. Damn, that was nice. All right, we're gonna cut these loose. Now we'll wait for the next mission. Get inside. Now I gotta head back. All right. Make sure all switches are done. Let's head over there. Alright, it's a little weird, but it tells me to head over there. Let's go. Let them know we out. Nobody in the way. And just like that, we drop off that 10 there. They can do whatever they want with that. Alright, shut that sucker off. Five hundred yards the other way. I don't want to go too fast in here. That's a one. Yeah. There we go. I don't want to go too fast. I want to slow it down a little bit. 